Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Porco Rosso or uh, Kurenai no Buddha. Now, okay, before we start, I have something to say, uh, like just wait a bit. Uh, this is uh, the thing that I want to say is that uh, obviously like the movies are, you know, uh, like depleting. Like I, I'm doing this today uh, and the next week I'll probably do Omoide no Marnie. So I will be left with a few of them. Uh, I think uh, with like the ones, the Ghibli movies with the uh, higher ratings. And uh, that is, I think this one is left. Gake no Ue no Ponyo. I'll do this. Karigurashi no Arieti. And then I'll do, I'll probably also do this one. I'm not sure if I would do it or not. Kokelet, uh, uh, no, what is this? Kokelikot Sakakura, Zakakara. And I'll also do Omoe de Poro Poro. And I think that will be the end. So if there are, you know, any other like good Ghibli movies, which obviously like I cannot say which are good, which are bad because like I've not watched them. Uh, I'm only like basing it off the ratings. So if there are any, you know, uh, good Ghibli, Ghibli movies, which I am missing, uh, be sure to, you know, let me down in the comment section. And obviously, like one day, all of the movies, like all of the Ghibli movies, uh, that like the good Ghibli movies will end, and I'll have to move on with something else. So I'll be keeping this day as a movie reaction day, you know. And uh, I'll do all other movies that I've not watched. For example, there are a few movies which, uh, like popular movies, that I've not seen. For example, there's this one movie I think Akira. I I, I really like want to watch that. Uh, and there's an, another movie i think the girl who left through time i also didn't watch that like few other movies like this and i'm sure there are a lot other movies uh, left so like i'll probably do like all the popular movies and uh, like one by one and there are a lot of movies coming out as well like you know, gintama is going to come out i'll definitely do that and a lot like other movies uh, for example like uh, i'll also do uh, the fate movies uh, the heaven's feel trilogy and uh, a lot of the other movies that will probably come out in the future so yeah and after if like uh like if i like run out of all the movies you know all the popular movies which will probably take a like a quite a while because i'm doing this like once a week so it will take a time so i don't know after what that what i will do with this day probably i'll start with another show like a normal anime or something and do occasional movies when they come it comes out so we'll like see when that time comes but for now uh like i'll like my target is completing all the popular ghibli movies so if i missed something uh which is probably good uh be sure to you know let me down like know down in the comment section and i'll do it so yeah so that's it guys okay so let's uh let's start with this movie so this is called um porco rosso or kurenai no buta now kurenai as far as i know kurenai means crimson and kurenai no buta buta means a uh, pig obviously so uh like a crimson pig or something let's see let's just like see what this movie is about so yeah without further ado let's get started with porco rosso uh so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's a countdown three two one go hmm. <clears throat> mediterranean sea in an age when seaplanes ruled the waves, it tells the story of a valiant pig who fought against flying pirates for his pride, for his lover, and for his fortune. The name of the hero of the story is Crimson Pig. Yeah, Crimson Pig, as I said. Or Porco Rosso in the end. <clears throat> okay, so okay this is about a pig all right well obviously the title is like 
Oh, I, I'm guessing the uh, color of the plane is that's why she's called crimson. Is that is that the pig that they're talking about, the main character? Damn, that's a fancy pig. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see how he sounds. Like, I am quite curious as to how he sounds. Damn, that's a... Damn, that voice. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Damn, the... The kids are all happy. <laughs> oh my god, it's quite loud. Let me just... It's still loud. <clears throat> and now it's... Oh god. You know, uh, <laughs> isn't there a saying in like Japanese like Tobenai butawa tadana butada like pigs who don't fly are just pigs or something like that? <laughs> I'm not sure what that actually means, but there is a saying like that I think. Like in a lot of animes I've heard it like characters saying like Tobenai butawa tadana butada. <laughs> so this <laughs> pig is flying. <laughs> wow, that's one of the one of the most peaceful way of kidnapping. <laughs> Thoughtful like kidnappers. <laughs> oh my god, this is quite funny. <laughs> What the? What? <laughs> so is he like a mercenary or something? I'm guessing. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh no, malfunctioning airplane. Oh. Okay, it started again. Oh, it's leaking. Damn, he has a glass inside the glass. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Uh... Oh, that's a huge airplane. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy, all right. <laughs> He's quite popular. <laughs> all right, there it is. All of them look the same. What the? <laughs> I 
this is more trouble you know <laughs> okay don't fall off like <laughs> oh boy and there you go you still can spot the plane <laughs> i can't see <laughs> oh okay but what will happen if that is also busted off? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what is this? Oh, a message. Oh, I'm guessing those are like uh, Morse codes or something. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that did a number on the plane. Yeah. Oh no. And there goes your tail. These kids are one of the most positive. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Oh, it jammed. Oh, no. Ha! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, that works every time. If some... Whoa. <laughs> what a peaceful kidnapping. Uh, <laughs> and this what is his name is the crimson pig okay like he is one of the you know even gave them a little bit of the money like he's not greedy you can see that he said like you keep half i'll keep keeping half Oh, bounty hunter, yeah. Oh, a mercenary bounty hunter, same. Oh. Quarter Italian. Wait, what? what? What's with the lyrics? Hmm. <clears throat> Walking. Okay. Damn, it is a like you know lighthouse kind of thing on top of it.
Hmm. They were talking about him a few minutes ago, so... <laughs> oh, the reporters. Ah. Uh -huh. Sit down. Exactly. Don't make any noise here. M Madam Gina. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, bring her fame and fortune. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what? Uh, I knew like they were going to say something like that. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oof. Oh. Damn. Oh. I'm guessing he knew him, probably. Marco? Oh, his name is Marco and people call him Porco. She called him Marco, didn't she? Oh, he was human. Oh, okay, I didn't, okay. Okay. Damn, it's popul like populated. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, he had a loan on his plane. <laughs> I'm not a person. Damn, all of them are looking at him funnily, you know, that person in that place and they're like turning at him and kind of scowling at him. Not all of them, like fewer people. Ooh, damn, that's a... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Oh boy. Right where he should be. Mediterranean Queen. <laughs> wow. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Okay, let's see how these guys react to attack the... The kids were all like ha extremely... Like... Oh! Oh! Officer Visconti. Alright. So they're going to defend them or something, I'm guessing? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. And he's chilling here. Oh, damn. What is this place? Uh, is this some kind of his hideout or something? Where he just chills? Yeah. Okay. Wow, they're provoking him. <laughs> Where to <you> go, turkeys? <laughs> we'll make a roast out of you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's not going to do. <laughs> he has his priorities straight. Good. <laughs> oh lord.
Oh, damn the yeah the wind is yeah it's probably a probably going to rain or like a thunderstorm or something and the weather is not looking good like it's all dark and cloudy oh there's the sunlight wow oh no it's acting up again Okay. All right. Hello, who the hell are you? Oh, oh. Okay, ah. Uh. What? Yeah, let him go on his vacation. Like, what the hell? Oh. Oh. No, you don't didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Oh boy. Oh. Oh yeah, he's going to take that. You know what will be funny if he comes and like steals his plane or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was kind of hoping like you know he was probably hiding in the like water body and he came out and took his plane and scrammed off ah, there, she, there he is <clears throat> okay well he's stranded on this island now and his plane is broken. <clears throat> oh, this is that uh, lady in, who was singing. Alcione. Yeah, Madam Gina. Gina. Oh. <laughs> I lost weight. Okay, how did he get saved? Hmm. 
Mm. Wow. I said this before, you know? Like I knew there was a saying like this, like you know, Tobenai butata, tarana butata. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there is really a saying like that. Like, what does it even like you know mean? Like, like you're someone if you can do, uh, uh, I don't know. Colos Pa. <clears throat> oh, there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think so. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of busted. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, you don't look alike at all. Ghibli. <laughs> okay. Oh. So he's going to use this. Okay, revenge. <laughs> revenge. <laughs> You're saying Buddhism to Buddha. <laughs> okay. They have a good men, you know. Damn, a lot of money. <laughs> He'll still take money. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, the the girl, yeah. Or or not. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, both. Inspiration, okay. Seventeen. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, you, you have to pay, but pay it later. Wow. So many at the same time. Okay, let's see how he looks. He, he must have opened his glasses, didn't he? Let's see. Damn! <laughs> okay. Oh. Damn, so she, he was like, like playing in hard difficulty. Yeah, like you can mess up, you know, because of that. I had that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, definitely that will be a little too much. Okay, they're all going to... <laughs> Whoa, a lot of them. <laughs> they just haven't come for you yet. <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, so many of them. Yeah, it was... Oh, okay, so all are women. Most of them. I can see a few of the, you know, social stigmatas they had, you know, uh, like women can only like be in the kitchen and stuff like that. Obviously, because this is quite old. Like the time when this is happening, I'm not talking about the movie, I'm talking about the time when this is happening. Mm. Oh. Damn! This is blowing it. What the hell? <laughs> no, that's. Oh my God! What the hell is this? Oh. 
Well, a lot of them. Like, yeah, you need a lot of people to do this. Like, just make an airplane, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and a customer doesn't have any money left. Oh my god, Porco will have to go to his bank. <laughs> He'll have to go break his bank. <laughs> Three months. Ah, oh, she's still doing it all night. Like, okay. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Legal entry. <laughs> Lazy pig. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Okay. Oh, this is a... Uh... Okay. Oh. Yeah, like... Yeah, he's being, you know, yep. Okay. Because, yeah, exactly. And so that's why he's hurrying, like, otherwise he'll mix them up in this, his own problems. <laughs> Nah, he's...
Ooh. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like he he's trying to like Yeah, settle down. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Oh. Wait. She's going with him? Or not? But what? <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they might say like... <laughs> Grandmas are so, you know... Okay, let's see. And damn. Okay, the okay. Yeah. All right. Well, obviously, this flimsy, like, <laughs> like this flimsy gun, like flimsy guns, won't do anything to this huge thing. Okay. <laughs> Kidnapper pay us your money. Yeah, good job. Like otherwise they would have been, you know, uh like the the police would have caught them. Hard. <laughs> No time. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Damn. Oh, it's, it's getting tilted. Mm -hmm. 
tab. Ooh. Okay, it's still kind of, you know, rough. All right, there you go. Now, like, the like hope it, you know, keeps flying. It will suddenly, like, you know, goes down. That will be the problem. Okay, it's flying. All right. Oh, who is this? Oh. Okay, what does that mean? Haha, <laughs> good job. Okay. Okay, so somehow got away from this whole mess. Yes. Okay. What was that? What <laughs> Damn. Flying quite low, you know, it's kind of giving me an anxiety. Uh. Ooh. From, you know, from a distance, this looks quite amazing, you know? Like this, this only one, like platform where there's this. Ah, he is here, all right. Okay, let's see how she reacts. Like, she knows that. Okay, what is that? Oh. The matter. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Gambling. Oh, he's okay. Today he she's here in the daytime. All right. Well, he'll be surprised, the other guy.
Damn. Well, yes. <clears throat> oh, she's most probably remembering the time. Yeah, when he was human, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, she knows it. Oh, her grandfather, okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh. What the hell is that? That's a huge insect. <laughs> um, who are you? Oh, that, that's, that guy. No, I'm feeling it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, his hideout. Uh, this is like his personal hideout. Nice little place, you know. Hmm. 
Yeah, he has a small little house, a little tent. Oh! Oh my god, these guys! Okay, well... <laughs> you need yeah you need to keep that in mind because you guys also you know fly airplanes Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, they won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you do stuff like that, honor. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. But I think he will probably... Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's here. Uh, like... Uh, yeah, like... <laughs> okay, don't fall and break your back. <laughs> Show off. I think I know what he's going to say. Oh my god, this guy. Uh. <laughs> you pay his bills. Okay. This guy, this Curtis, like... Mm. 
Yeah, oh my god. Okay. He is freaking pissed, Porco, like making bets on his behalf and each and everything. <sighs> mm, yeah. Yeah. What? What's the matter? Oh. Oh well. What? <clears throat> oh wait it changed wait is does this curse come out at night or something oh, oh okay oh he, he was she was <laughs> it's just thinking like this is some kind of fairy tale. Last summer of the world.
Oh. Is this the husband of the of Madame? Z Is that the same person? Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Cloud praying. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, they're all ascending, you know? But he's not, he's still... Yeah, yeah, Gina, like, I knew, like, like, she said that, like, her three husbands, like, died, like, both, like, both, like, three of them were pilots, so I was, I was thinking, like, maybe one of them was one of her husbands. <clears throat> oh, damn, this is a lot, like, from the airplanes that are ascending. And he didn't ascend. So how did this curse happen? Like... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here's the day. They're making good money out of this. That's why they're also like, you know, sponsoring this. As I said, they're promoting this. Hmm. This guy, like...
the first one to run. <laughs> yeah, shut up with the speeches. Like we we've not come to like listen to you. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Random. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shut up. Go go do your thing. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> we are taking a bath. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> They've all taken a bath <laughs> after so many days. Wow! L look! Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know what i think most of them are here for fio <laughs> like no one gives a damn about the race <laughs> all right Okay, like, but slow and steady wins the race. There's a thing called that. Okay, he has a lead, but obviously, like. <laughs> oh, what, what is he doing? Oh, okay. Oh. All right. All right. Ace of Adriatic. And another. Oh, he got it. He's behind him. Come on. Like, man maintain that position. Okay. Um. Oh. 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 Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but but Curtis doesn't doesn't care about that. Okay. Ooh. Ah! 
And he's on the tail again. Oh! What the hell? Like, there are people here. You're shooting all of them. Like... Okay. Okay, she's not coming. Oh, the Air Force is coming. Oh my god. So Ferrari gave her the, you know... Like the heads up that they're coming. And they're having a fight here, oh boy. Okay. Come on, like... Okay, now shoot, shoot the engine off. Come on. Like one good shot. Oh no, it's jammed. Oh, great. Oh my god, what the hell? Ugh. Oh, this is the same thing that happened before. Oh my god. Oh, his, his is also jammed. Oh god, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> yeah, something is extremely wrong. <laughs> yeah, the match is over. Go back home, everyone. Like... No one cares. <laughs> okay, guys. Go back home. <laughs> no more. <laughs> oh my god, they're going to have a fist fight now. Okay, come on, this also works. Like, you know, plane beating each other up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, grab his legs and <laughs> bring him underground, underwater. Okay, beat him up. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh! That hurt. They're having too much fun with this. 
they'll like come here and see like <laughs> They're having a fight in the water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, and his heart and uh. Uh, his hand. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Yeah. And double knockout. Yeah. Both of them lost. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go home. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> like, take your money and go home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. You lost your <laughs> money. <laughs> Take bath sometimes. Well, uh, again, I can't kind of understand where he's coming from. Like, he is, um, you know, bounty hunter. That, and he also has his own complex about his curse. Oh! Huh. 
Okay, you better run the... Um... Yeah, they're here. Okay, better run. Oh, wait. Did the, did the curse... <clears throat> oh, he she's now, you know. Huh, they're all old. <laughs> okay, it's kind of open ended, I can see that. All right, that was a fun movie. And the ending was a little open ended, like as she said, like that's our secret. And Ugh. Ah. Mm. okay, so this, uh Obviously, I like this is not something that I was expecting. Like, I kind of expected something with a pig, but not like this. But like, he has a curse. Now, there's a lot of things that were kind of not explained. For example, how he got the curse. Like that's one thing, and um, and the ending as well. Like what happened. Like uh, like the bet that Gina said before. Like. Uh, the bet that when like she, she said something about uh, like uh, I'll like I'll confess my feelings for him like that was the bet and like he'll come for me like that was the bet so like the question in the end was as uh, like Fio said that uh, did the bet come true or not was did he she win the bet or not like and she said like that's our secret like it could have been like yeah like maybe Porco has come back and like maybe his curse has lifted or something i don't know or something happened and he came back and that is how um like gina like won the bet like that could be one ending another ending could be like no he did not come back and like she's still waiting so like the bet she has obviously not lost but she's waiting like you know the funny thing about what like about the bet is what about the bet like the type of bet that Gina made, that's the type of bet where she can only win. She cannot lose. Like, in a way. Because, like, when will she lose? When, like, if Porco says that, no, I will never come back. Or, like, rejects her. That is the only time that she can lose. Which I doubt Porco will say something like that. And, like, he is, he like, usually, like, uh, like, roams the whole world like that. And uh, if she, if he doesn't come back... Uh, that will be like, uh, you know, she'll keep waiting for him. Like, his, her bet will keep on going. Like, there's no proper way to lose in this bet. So, this is like, either she wins or she just keeps waiting. So, it's kind of like that. So, yeah, like, it's not like, as like Fio said in the end, like, did she win or did she load? It's not that. Like, the thing that she, like, at least should have said was, 
like uh, like the actual thing that happened must be like did she win or is she still waiting like it must be something like that because yeah so who knows like uh like the main kind like the complex that she had was i think uh the curse oh do we still have something left i was just let's see are they really going to show us or not <laughs> oh well anyways um that the end yeah that's the end all right <clears throat> so yeah as i was saying so it's kind of open-ended and like either gina won the bet or she is still waiting that's the main thing and um like i like the movie was extremely good like it it was like funny like <laughs> it was kind of like uh, the the fun factor was uh the most in this movie it was uh quite hilarious and the whole like each and everything that they like did <laughs> and uh one thing that i could see in this movie i i talked about this before uh was uh like as as you know in the like in older days like there was this kind of a thing where like people used to think that uh women they are only f like they are like fit for the kitchen only they shouldn't come out of the kitchen something like that there's just this whole thing you know uh, in the older older days and like we can see a little bits and pieces of that especially like uh, when porcos like said that that uh like this is not you know this is not you're not baking a pie so why are the what are the women doing here like uh obviously the uh, like the the time when this is happening uh the uh i'm like i'm talking about the anime like uh <clears throat> in that time i'm sure like there was this whole thing with you know uh this kind of a thing that women should only be in the kitchen like they should not come out this kind of a uh, social kind of thing and uh, that's why i think that like he kind of mentioned it like that and like uh, so like <laughs> like that's something that obviously like the people at that time kind of had this kind of a mentality so that's why like uh fio also uh, in the beginning she said that uh like you are not uh, like trusting me with this the reason is reason behind this is it that i am a woman or am i uh, young that is the reason so and porco said that both of it so yeah we can see like bits and like you know traces of that here and there uh, that kind of a social thing and <clears throat> that and uh, there's this whole thing with um <clears throat> like porco kind of facing his own like like you know complexes like the first complex was that she like he is a you know uh, a bounty hunter now that's why he had this whole thing that yeah i should probably not involve myself with someone else because like if i like somehow die that will you know sadden the other person now i i'm sure like this thing like this whole complex was a lot more than the others like uh, this whole complex of his was heightened because of uh, you know gina you know he saw gina losing like uh, one person after the other like the peop the person the people that she married like one after the other like each of them died in a plane crash so like he had like that own like he got this fear of like thinking that yeah i should probably also not involve myself with someone else because if i die the other person will be sad and he has been seeing gina sad for so long like uh, like becoming happy then again becoming sad losing the person that she married again getting married losing again meeting getting married then again losing the person like just imagine like um like losing three of your loved ones after getting married to them so i think that was also you know the reason why he like was so uh, particular about this thing like uh, the when fio kind of like said that yeah i want to go with you uh, she said that no i'm a bounty hunter like you should like remember that so that was like the main reason why he was always like uh, evaded gina and fio both of them uh, when they tried to you know <clears throat> uh, when they tried to um I mean, like when they tried to go, go, like grow close with him, he always evaded them. 
that's one reason another reason which uh, like i think is that because of his curse so he also said this in like you know uh, in one of the scenes when uh, like he said that uh, like you should not say like to few you should not say stuff like that uh, a lot of people will come for you like uh, i'm just he said something like that like you should like you should not make decisions so quickly like uh, you have a whole future ahead of you like i'm just a cursed pig so <clears throat> like i think these are the two complexes that he has which kind of stops him whenever he tries to you know involve himself with someone else so it's kind of you know uh that thinking about it <clears throat> and and that's also the reason why they did not show us what happened in the end like did was he really able to conquer his complex and uh like really like settle for someone or is he still you know roaming around the sky uh like just like he used to like who knows <laughs> gina did not say it like she said that yeah that's our secret so <laughs> like we can only just you know guess uh i don't know like um you know what um i i think he probably would have like would change eventually like uh it would probably take a little bit more time but he would probably change because <clears throat> like like you know like this is something that uh the whole thing that happened him kind of you know doing like doing that the whole thing that he did like pro like when gina like a uh, few was promised that yeah i will marry if uh like he like if curtis wins or something like that and if uh if curtis loses he'll get the debt money debt money uh like he like obviously he didn't care about the money that's i'm sure like he cared about like G like uh, fio's uh, well-being so that was the reason why he like took the whole uh bet on so i'm sure like obviously like he is kind of changing in that way like uh he is involving himself in other people's affairs like in, in this case in fio's affair so in that way he probably changed a little bit so i'm sure like like he will eventually change and come to a realization someday or the other that yeah like uh, the way i'm doing this that is not the way that i should do it like uh, i always like uh, like he's always keeping himself uh, like far away from others he's kind of like the lone wolf kind of character so i should probably not do that like he i'm sure like he will uh, like eventually realize that so <laughs> like I, I like to think the positive of things you know like not always the negative so like i really hope that he like something like that happened and like he like <clears throat> conquered his complex and who knows maybe uh like the curse would like you know uh be removed if he somehow conquers it that can happen you know like uh maybe the curse is here because uh like he has not conquered the f fear he has maybe that's the reason why the curse is there or something else who knows like anyways so <clears throat> yeah at this point i'm just guessing stuff but anyways like, like that's the uh, you know main point of a story if it is like open ended you can like guess a lot of things and you can make the ending as you wish it to be so yeah uh okay so yeah nothing much else to say about this movie this was uh, like a, uh, like a, a, what can i say like and like a lot of like a, extremely light hearted like um like the whole thing with the you know like fighting each other and everything that was also done in an extremely comedic way which i can appreciate like the, like the, you know like i'm kind of tired of you know people killing each other <laughs> them dying and everything like <laughs> like sad endings oh my god so yeah like i can appreciate a uh, you know comedic fight like this was like a comedic war kind of thing where like they were like you know in the end they were throwing wrenches and <laughs> broken airplane bits at each other then they kind of came down and started punching each other 
Well, that was funny and yeah it's kind of lighthearted and everything so i'm glad i'm glad that uh like it was something like that so <laughs> like no one died <laughs> thank god like i like i had this you know uh feeling uh in the back of my uh like mind that like i i really hope that no one like dies like because the setting of this story you know is kind of a uh like you know has a war kind of setting like the, this whole thing of him being a bounty hunter, the like uh, other the air force uh, like kind of tailing him and trying to capture him, stuff like that. So I had the kind of this fear uh, like in my mind that like who knows maybe you know like uh, he'll get hurt somehow or like something bad might happen to him. So or him or the like other characters like Fio or Gina or s someone else. So I had this like fear but thankfully nothing of that, that sort happened this was like a, you know light-hearted comedy kind of a whole movie so i can appreciate that so yeah and 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 also another thing uh the guy curtis now here's the thing uh like obviously he seems as if extremely you know pompous extremely rude extremely prideful type of a character who you know uh like like <laughs> it goes for whatever uh, girl that he looks like like sees in front of him uh, he like he seems like a character like this but like looking at it more deeply it seems as if like you know he, like he, maybe he is a bit of a complex character maybe that is the only way that he can interact you know there are people like that who can only interact in a really you know douchey type of way but that is just them like like they are just like that like they don't mean any harm but they kind of uh like like it seems as if they are kind of like a douchey so like uh in, in the beginning I, I was kind of like you know uh getting annoyed at him but uh, in the end when he started punching uh, porco and started saying that uh so like just make up your mind like just you know uh like she's waiting for you for so long and you, what the hell are you doing like, i was thinking at that moment that maybe he is you know uh like curtis maybe he is not as bad as he seems like uh as i said before he is a type of character who like who's kind of who acts like this like that's the only way he can act like he doesn't mean any harm with that but he just kind of like it kind of like looks like he is extremely snobbish extremely like uh, douchey and extremely you know annoying type of a character but the, maybe that's not it maybe that's only the way he can express himself and because like uh like in his heart maybe he is a really like you know he's kind of a good guy uh so yeah like uh, at that moment i was kind of thinking and maybe you know he is the only person who could like beat some sense into porco like porco was like doing this whole thing of yeah i'm the lone wolf i will uh like i should probably be alone this kind of uh like thing he was doing but obviously gina was waiting for him you know the hints that she likes like passed around the way she talked with porco it, it's kind of apparent and uh, the way she felt about him but obviously porco being uh, the person he is uh, his fears and his complexes he I'm, I'm sure he also like noticed that but he tried like to you know keep a distance between them and that so obviously like a few was kind of the head you know if, like after few came in he was the you know uh, extremely aggressive type of a character like he just jumped on board without even taking her his permission so like in a way Fio also kind of like broke tried to break him out of his shell and this guy he also kind of got annoyed at the whole situation and decided to beat Porco up which I'm sure like uh, like kind of helped Porco you know in, in, in his own way like I'm sure like he must have realized something after getting beat up by Curtis like he must have realized the mistake uh, that he is doing. Uh, maybe you know like uh, as they said like as Fio said like the secret that they had maybe after getting beaten up by <laughs> Curtis he finally understood that the yeah the way I'm you know like doing everything tackling everything maybe that is not correct maybe I should really go back and settle down so who knows so yeah
so yeah guys uh, that was it and uh, that was um this movie this was uh porco rosso and uh or kuren i know buta <laughs> as i said like this was a fun movie and i had like quite fun like reacting to it it was funny kind of uh you know war type of uh story uh so like i can appreciate that like a lot of killings like a lot of like sad endings i've seen in ghibli movies so i'm happy like this kind of is like ended in a neutral manner without any deaths or without anything like like you know before this i usually <laughs> avoided like stories or animes with you know sad endings so like like watching ghibli movies uh like uh let's see which one of them has sad endings the most uh, the, the like the thing that extremely affected me was uh grave of the fireflies that that was extremely you know like sad and everything like that was the main uh like that was sad then uh kaze tachinu like that was sad and uh kaguya hime no monogatari that was sad so like <laughs> like i'm really not you know accustomed to <laughs> with you know sad endings in stories i usually prefer like happy endings like <laughs> but okay and so yeah as i was saying so like i can appreciate a story with uh like <laughs> an ending like this like it's kind of frustrating you know like you don't uh, like get to know what actually happened in the end but still it's better than a bad ending you know a sad ending it's better than that like uh like <laughs> this this thing you know is called that uh, no news news is what is it called what is that saying uh, no news is good news i think <laughs> it's kind of like that <laughs> like an open ending is <laughs> like better than a sad ending so yeah um anyways so okay um i i kind of like mentioned this uh, at the beginning of the like uh, at the beginning when i before i started the movie reacting to the movie that the ghibli movies are coming to an end i think uh, three or four are left so i kind of like uh, like said which one i'll i'll like definitely do it's uh, like uh, in the start of the movie if you've not uh, like watched it we should sure like see that portion like those movies i'm going to do in the upcoming weeks but like my question is is there any other movies apart from that ghibli movies that are interesting that i should check out if there are be sure to let me know in the comment section and after like after the ghibli movies end i'll like switch to the other movies that are going to come out and that are like uh, like already out which i have not watched so yeah like but that's uh, i'm guessing it will take one or two more months for that time to come but yeah so anyways uh, next week uh, i'm going to do uh, omoide no marnie or omoide no marnie uh, when uh, english title is when marnie was there like i'll do this this has quite a high rating and i think this is quite recent isn't it yeah this is 2014 so like i'm quite curious as to what this is about so i'll check that out next uh, like uh, week i'll do the reaction so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, comment down below as i said like uh, like the, any kind of you know recommendations anime movies you can like uh, write them down and anything you want to say or anything about this movie or any anything in general like just comment down below i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys so i'll be back uh next week with another movie reaction another ghibli movie reaction so yeah so see you guys then and until then goodbye and have a nice day